Hello everyone, welcome to another Go High Level Pro tutorial. Now today I will show you how to create appointment confirmation reminder workflow in Go High Level. Now this is a more advanced tutorial. If you want to get a free trial of Go High Level, you can download it down below or you can access it down below with our link in the description. Now this is for all of our subscribers. So let's get started. So first of all, what you will need is you will need to go into your, uh, basically into your view right here and into your, um, you know, into your client account. So from your client accounts, go to settings, go to the calendar and here from the calendar settings, you will need to go and you will need to create a calendar uh, that, you know, this workflow will work through. So Basically, as you can see, we have a couple of calendars right here. We have this one, we can duplicate it, we can edit it. We can also delete calendar if we want, uh, which is one thing that we do not want to do right now. So make sure to create a calendar from there. What we'll need to go is we'll need to go back and here we will need to go to automation and uh, from automation, make sure you select workflows here. As you can see, I already have my, one of my workflows, so I'll just go and delete that workflow uh, and I will type in confirm. Uh, I'll just delete it because I will need to go and create a new workflow. So I'll create a new workflow. Obviously, uh, here you have a lot of different things that you can do. You can import from a campaign. Uh, you can have a recipe appointment booking. Uh, this is good if you just don't want to watch this tutorial and if you don't want to do it yourself. Um, there's a lot of different recipes right here, right? But what we're going to select is we're going to start from scratch. This is basically starting, uh, you know, from a new, um, you know, from a new workflow here. We can rename this workflow however we want. We can rename this to, for example, I don't know, you know, workflow one booking appointment confirmation reminder something like that that's pretty much it so as you can see this is the the workflow's name now obviously we will need to add a new trigger here and basically the trigger for this uh will be customer book uh, appointment so customer booked appointment here because our customer will book appointment so as you can see workflow trigger name it can be just customer booked appointment Let's save this trigger. So as you can see right here, obviously when we click on that, what we're gonna do is we can add a filter as well. I, and we can add a filter uh, in calendar or what you can do in calendar group. This is really good if you wanna do it in calendar group. And then here you, we can select a calendar. So as you can see, a calendar will be booking request, for example, uh, and then just hit save. So this is the trigger first. So this is what we can, uh, what we have right now. So Obviously, next up, what we need to do is we need to add a new action. Now, a new action will be basically sending an email. So this is the first thing uh, that we will send once someone books a call with us. So uh, we send an email here. And as you can see here, we can just put a uh, name, for example, John, uh, John Smith from email, John from our email, so our email is, for example, gonna be John Smith in this case, just for this sake of this video. Subject line can be uh, your call with, and then your company name. I'll just type in company name, your call with company name. And then here, uh, templates, we don't have a template, so we'll just have to go here and type in, hey, uh, hello, John, or hello, and then we can have custom values, user full name. Hello, John, for example. Uh, this is a reminder for your call, call with, and then what you can do is maybe have user or contact or appointment title. Maybe you can do appointment title. This is your reminder for your call today. And then you have appointment title with, for example, I don't know, Mark from, and then company name. You can just use company name here. And then please, please make sure you, please make sure you, you uh, show, show up or something. It can be much more professional than this. Trust me. Um, 
but this is just a template. So we'll just use this template over the course of this tutorial video. Um, obviously you can test emails as well, add an attachment if you want, stuff like that. Uh, you have statistics here as well, but this is not really something that we should worry about. So save action here. There are issues in the fields. Okay, we don't have a subject line, so let's just hit the subject line again, save it, and now we have an email. Now this is just the first step of creating an appointment confirmation or reminder workflow. Obviously the next step is to basically send an SMS. So once this is done, once the email is through, we'll send the SMS because why not? You know, uh, we can go here and paste the same message, select the template since we don't have any template, I will just say none. And then as you can see here, we can add an attachment as well. We can also test our phone number as well if we want. Now make sure if you're adding an attachment that it's something that it will show in the SMS. Possibly a GIF could be good or something like that. Uh, then save the action. Now here we added just a new SMS, uh, you know, email flow and SMS flow. Now what we'll need to do is we'll need to add a wait. So a wait is basically, um, you, you know, time delay between the next email and time delay between the next SMS. So obviously for this event, uh, what we'll need to do is we'll need to wait for the event appointment time. So um, right here, as you can see, we have event appointment time here. And then here, what we can do is we can wait one hour. So we'll just say one hour and then we can skip all outbound communication actions. What this will do is this will uh, wait for one hour before sending another email or another SMS, right? Uh, make sure to put here uh, one. Now this is one day, not one hour, sorry. Uh, and then make sure to put here before and that's pretty much it. You can also make months, days, hours, pretty much whatever you want. Then hit save. Make sure that this is, uh, you know, selected, save. And then after we wait a little bit, what we will do is we will add a new SMS. So uh, basically after we wait a little bit, we'll add a new SMS. So let's go here and then add an SMS, send SMS here. We can again just paste this as the same SMS. You can uh, have a follow, since this is like a follow up sequence, what you can do is you can have different follow up sequences here. So make sure to put that. So uh, then what we will need to do is we'll need to basically, this is one day before we will send the SMS. So uh, again, it's wait and then one day passes and then we're sending an SMS, right? So this is the SMS. Now, okay, once we have this, what we need to do is we need to add another wait because we will not send our clients every single day, uh, you know, um, SMS and email. So we'll add another uh, wait, which is right here, wait. And this will be wait for, uh, again, appointment time. Uh, and now on the third right here, you can select one hour. So what this will do is this will basically wait for another hour before uh, we will send them a, another SMS or another email. In this case, it will be uh, another uh, SMS basically. So what you can do is you can just go save action, make sure this is skip, skip all outbound communication actions till the next wait or event start date action. Save it. And as you can see, we can again go and send an SMS. You can send an email as well, but since we wanna be more personalized, more personal, we will send an SMS. Now here, as you can see, just hit this, hello user, and then you can basically select the template you want, stuff like that, add an attachment if you want to add an another attachment and then save the action. Now this is pretty much a very, very simple outlook of you know uh, appointment confirmation and reminder workflow in go high level. You can do a lot of different things here. You can add another wait here, for example, and then again have a, an event uh, appointment time and then we can wait 20 minutes before the call and then an, add another SMS or another email. We can send another email, for example, here, right? And then we can add an email, save this action, obviously. I will not save it right now, but you can do that, right? Uh, and make sure that after each wait, something is happening next up. This is how you will know that this is working. So obviously I will just go here and delete this, delete the action since we don't need that action. So this is basically how it looks. After you do that, just hit save and you will successfully save the workflow. Go back to workflows 
in here you will have that workflow right here you can go here you can edit the workflow open it in new tab you can publish the workflow make sure to publish it if you want if you want it to work and uh, then you can delete or duplicate the workflow if you want so yeah if you want uh, definitely experience more about go high level go down below click the link down below you will get a free trial from us uh, it's completely free and you will be able to use a go high level uh, for 14 plus days for absolutely free so that you can see uh, how that works so if you have any questions or comments comment down below and we'll see you in the next go high level tutorial video thank you guys for watching